Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to calculate cumulative total with the reset. As you can see on my screen, here is the input data. So in this we have date, category and sales amount. If you see the output data, we have date, category, sales amount and there is another column that is cumulative total with reset which we are going to calculate. So let us first see what this cumulative total with reset is doing. So if you see this, from the name itself, we can know that it is cumulating the sum. But what does this reset mean? So if you see this for this date and this category A, the sales amount is 100. And also in the cumulative total, it is 100. When we go to the next row, you can see sales amount is 200. So 100 plus 200 is 300. But when we go to the next line, we see the cumulative total is giving the same as the sales amount and not the cumulative total. Why? Because it is resetting for a different category. So uh, whenever a category changes, it will reset for that category. That is, it will calculate the cumulative total for that category. In the next line, you can see, again, it's doing the sum. So 100 plus 250 is 350. So it's giving 350. Again, the category is changing in the next line. So you will see, it is taking the last A value that is 300 and it is summing up this 150. So 300 plus 150 is 450. So it's giving you a 450 and it is basically calculating the cumulative total but for different category. So that's why it's called cumulative total with reset. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve this. So let's start the video. So here we are. We have the same input and output table. We'll have to create the measure for cumulative total with reset. So let's create a new measure. So I'll right click here and click on new measure. Let's name this measure as cumulative total with reset. Next is, I'll say calculate. So we are going to calculate the sum of sales amount. And add a filter on all input data. And we're going to add a condition called dates. So this input data date should be less than equal to max of this input data date and let's close this filter bracket and close the calculate bracket and click on enter so this function will give us the cumulative total as you all know if I use this in this table so as we can see here this is just giving us the cumulative total it is not resetting so 100 plus 200 300 300 plus 100 400 400 plus 250, that is 650, 650 plus 150, 800. So it is basically doing the cumulative sum. And this is the formula for cumulative sum. But the question is, how do we introduce this reset for each category? So let's go to the measure again. And here, here in the filter, we'll have to add one condition. So I will say category equal to max of category. And here we will add this AND condition. So it will check these two conditions. Click on enter. And uh, see here. So now it's giving us the cumulative total with reset. So here you will see 100 plus 200 is 300. 300 plus 100, it's not giving 400. It is resetting for B category and creating a new cumulative sum. So this is how we calculate the cumulative total with reset. So that was it for this video. I hope you have liked this video and you have learned something new from this video. So if you have learned something new from this video, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Do not miss any updates from my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.